Good afternoon, guys. Thought I would take you guys out to the goat pen for a little bit and let's go check on the goats and see how they're doing. It's such a beautiful day outside, so let's go. Let's just see what all the babies are doing. Oh, hello, my babies. How are you? Hi. You say hi. Hi Floki, hi guys. Hi, this is Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill and today I thought I would just show you a little bit of what we do on the homestead. Um, we ended up cleaning the chicken coop which was absolutely disgusting because it has rained and freezing rain and rain and freezing rain. But today it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. It's supposed to be, I think I said 63 degrees and tomorrow it's going to be 67 degrees. I cannot wait for that. So today I am also going to make some homemade yogurt and I will show you guys how to do that as well. So stay tuned. yogurt from home I use a crock pot this is just a rival crock pot it's not the smallest ones but it's not the medium and it does hold a full let's see what is this half gallon of milk so what I do is I pour this inside the crock pot Just like that and like I said I'll show you it holds pretty much a whole half gallon of milk so and then what you do next is you put it on high and you put the lid on it just like that and what you want to do is you want it to get to 180 degrees and I do use a thermometer so let me go grab my thermometer so this is my super duper snap-on <laughs> um, thermometer that my husband bought but um in about two hours i am going to take the temperature of this and get it up to 180 degrees and then i'll show you guys what to do from then exactly oh it moved come on 
no, it's steep it up. But no, it's exactly at the right temperature. So what we're going to do is just completely turn it off and leave it uncovered and unplug it. And what we need to do now is we need to get this to go down to 110 degrees, which takes about another hour. And then I will show you exactly what to do after that. And now that my milk is at 110 degrees, so it's it has to get down to 110 degrees. What you want to do next is mix in about a cup of yogurt. So this is some homemade yogurt that I've made from before. And what I'm going to do is put a cup of this inside my yogurt. And why you do this is you need those live active cultures because that's what makes um, the yogurt work. So. so there's about that because this was almost all gone. The yogurt sitting on top of my freezer. I am in my pantry right now. So what you want to do is you want to take something like a blanket or a towel and what i do is i just cover it up very well so no light gets through so and the heat stays inside of it so and then between like eight um eight to 12 hours later i will show you what to do next but like i said it, this is so simple to do hey guys how are you it is early it is 6 30 6 in the morning it's it's early but anyways um to continue on with our yogurt so this sat all night as you can tell you see it's really thick so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this into here but i gotta get like either cheesecloth or i use these um long towels they're very thin and i've been using these just for yogurt for a long time and i put that in there and the next i pour this inside I'm gonna get a spatula to get the rest of it out because next what we want to do is separate the whey from the curd so let's grab the rest of that out oh, still more in there my dog is patiently he loves yogurt in the morning but he's not gonna be able to get any yet he's gonna have to wait till later so, I have some more pieces. Where'd they go? Okay. And the next thing I have is a little hook, an elastic band, and I'll explain. So, what I do is I grab all the corners of this and bunch it up like this until you have like a sack. And then I take my elastic band and I tie it. Just like that and then I take this hook and I push it through which allows me hold on it's hard to do I just move this over just a little bit which allows me to hang it on my on my knob and if you see it's all pouring down so I let this pour for about hmm, six hours or so so I'll come back when this is finished. The yogurt <laughs> has been dripping for about four hours, so it is ready. And if you look inside of the colander, you can see all the way that's there. So I'm gonna pour this out, because I don't keep the whey. I have so much of it actually in my freezer. It's really good for like plants and stuff. So, and I'm gonna take this satchel we're going to take the hook off of it. Let's see if I have a little icing spoon. That will work. And we're going to take off the rubber bands. And this does get messy. Like I said, you can use a um, cheesecloth. I've just always used this um, towel because it's very thin. So what I do is I just let it droop down. I know it's disgusting. So... But all I do when I get done with this is I, I rinse it off and I put it in my washer machine. So. And that's what it looks like when you're done. So I just mix it up real good. Like that. And like I said before, this is a half gallon of milk. So then I'm just going to grab a container. 
and pour it in. And it will get thicker as it sits in the fridge. I gotta grab another container. So, one more container. Pour it in. Sorry for all the noise. <laughs> Get it all out. And there you go. To this, um, I add bananas, I add maple syrup, I add honey, I do nuts, I do granola. It's just really good. And this last bee probably, depending, because like I said, um, one of our dogs loves yogurt in the morning and my husband loves it. I eat it once in a while. So probably about three or four days and then I gotta make another one. But when you make this, always save a cup of this to make your other yogurt. Let's go feed this to the chickens that are inside the sunroom. So I got two chickens in here because my little white one right here, she got plucked by one of our chickens. So she's healing. She's got some blue coat on her head. Here you go, girls. They actually love being in here because they get all my scraps. Right, Silky? Yeah, guys. So pretty soon she'll be able to go back out with the rest of the girls. But for now, she's in here. But like I said, they do not mind whatsoever. And it's nice and warm in here, too. And Honey's just here for moral support. Right, Honey? I gotta get that egg. She's jumping. 